Hey, welcome to my quiche. <laughs> I can't not make it sound like Mario. I bet if I just said I was Italian, people would believe me. A people per carry. Matteo Lane is quaking. Enough of that. Why are we really here? As much as I despise the games, I love Pokemon. Those dumb little creatures fill me with so much joy. But something weird I think the Pokemon company has never addressed is how many food adjacent Pokemon there are. And I'm not talking about fish or chicken. I'm talking about ice cream. I'm talking about cotton candy. I'm talking about sentient splashes of milk. And in the year of the Barbie movie 2023, there are a lot of them. So for this holiday season, I'm going to make some recipes cooking those bitches up. And already I have to stop us right there because this is the part where I put on the apron I got. <laughs> not thinking that having green in it would probably be an issue. <laughs> so already we're off to a great start. So without the apron, we are gonna have to dress the pile of swine in the room. I'm gonna be sweating through this shirt. She be dripping, for sure. Before you gremlins get on the typewriter and say whatever you want, I'll ask you this. Would you rather be right or nice? That's what I thought, moving on. So without further ado, welcome to your friend Kevin's Critter Kitchen, where we evolve your taste buds and level up your senses. And this isn't your grandmother's dinner. I'm gonna be going all out. Litwick are gonna be lighting the entire room and Bound Sweet will be located in every corner for a nice little aroma. So first we'll begin with the appetizers. We're gonna start with a harvest pumpkin dip with chopped applin. This recipe calls for 15 ounces of pumpkaboo, eight ounces of miltake cream cheese, mix in two cups of sugar or dandruff from a ponita. You're gonna puree those together, then add some chopped small olives and one half teaspoon of ground up big root all served with apple and slices on the side. Okay, but here's what gets me about like the Pokemon process, you know? In the game, there's Miltank milk, but there's also a sentient milk Pokemon. So who's gonna tell me what the difference between those two things is? Does one taste better than the other? Is the Miltank milk vegan? since the milk tank allows it? Is the sentient milk Pokemon processed? And can I make my own substitute milk out of hearty grains? But most importantly, can my birthday cake Pokemon be made out of stevia? I feel like these are interesting questions. <laughs> my favorite part of black and white is when the main antagonist is walking around all these towns and he's like, Pokemon are friends, they're not tools. And he's like genuinely making some good points. But then your character, the 11 year old that doesn't speak, comes over and slaps him across the face with your Pokemon that you use as tools, and then the game ends. <laughs> I get it, it's for children, but also th they didn't have to write that. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. We need to move on. For a second appetizer, since there are no chips in the Pokemon universe because these people hate joy or something, we're gonna make some deep fried Oddish leaves with a side of Canadian syrup from a Trevenant. Okay, but again, hear me out with the consent thing. Like with grass type Pokemon, I just wanna know how much is plant and how much is being. Like is an Oddish gonna have a hard time if I take off one of its leaves? And if you stab a Trevenant, with a pole to get its syrup out, doth that Trevenant not bleed syrup for my pancakes? I just want one NPC to be like, hey, that's weird that that chef over there is using milk to fight. Like before a Pokemon gets caught, like how much cognitive dissonance does it really have? For instance, there's a Pokemon called Cleaf Key, and it's just a little keychain. If it faints, can I still use my keys? Can I? train my cleave key to not give me my keys when it thinks I'm too drunk to drive? Oh my gosh, or can I sue my cleave key for negligence because it gave me my keys when it knew I was too drunk to drive? Oh, oh. we have an Ace Attorney Pokemon crossover. Holy crap, I would play the shit out of that game. F Pokemon Snap. F Detective Pikachu, I want to be at the Poke University when the teacher is talking about ethics and cultural history. This is quickly becoming a completely different video than I intended. I don't care. I'm not mad at it. These questions are good questions. I'm getting wrapped up though. Back to the dinner. Our main course today is going to be a French maple glazed duck breast. We're going to start with two surfetched breasts, one fourth tablespoon of shoal salt, four tablespoons of syrup from a fan tump, cooked at medium heat and served on a low tad platter. This is the part of the dinner where we let out a bunch of Fido's into the kitchen and people can just take pieces of whatever they want and snack on it. It's moments like these where I'm like, should I feel bad about having this fantasy? But then I think, no. Game Freak created 
a dog made of dough that evolves into a pretzel. How am I not supposed to imagine chomping down? What's next? They're going to make a garlic cat? They chase each other around and then you serve them unlimited at the Olive Garden? Sorry, Small Olive Garden? Team Rocket's out there eating slow poke tails, but all of a sudden a bread dog is off the table? I don't think so. I don't think so. I refuse to be shamed for my shameful behavior. I'm just saying they shouldn't have created this Pokemon if they didn't want me to ask questions. In other words, my not involved with human trafficking t-shirt has a lot of people asking questions already answered by my shirt. But I digress. During our dinner, there will be two beverages that will be served. A matcha tea Pokemon that possesses people and leads them to their death, and the other is a possessed tea that tastes awful. I do think it's a little weird that Game Freak keeps making Pokemon that just flat out kill children, but I can't really judge that hard because if I was making a game, I would do the same exact thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just hit me how stupid this video is gonna be. <laughs> When Scarlet and Violet came out, I was too angry at the game literally being unfinished for me to really enjoy the absolute buffoonery that are some of these Pokemon. One of the Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet <laughs> is a fish on top of rice. There's also a flamingo. <laughs> that That's not actually a flamingo. It's just called Flamigo. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys need another year to come up with ideas, that's fine. Take your year. It's okay. <laughs> Listen, keep it coming. It makes me laugh and I love it. But without further ado, we're moving on to the best part of the meal dessert. For this, we're keeping it simple. We're just making ice cream. We're going to start with one vanillite, add a piece of ice cube, mix in some Swirlix fluff, add on a Tropius banana, and put a little Cherubi on top. I'm sorry, that sounds so good. Here's the thing. Okay, okay, here's another thing. I'm sorry. I'm so I can't not. Do you think that someone's accidentally eaten a vanillite? I need to know what happens when you bite this. In the real world, there's directions on how to use shampoo. You're telling me no one in the Pokemon universe has ever bitten into a vanillite? I don't believe it. I want to know what happened, I want to know who was involved, and I want to know about their trauma. Is there like a Pokemon animal control? Like we can't put this Pokemon out in the wild because it's too dangerous for the children, for the 11 year olds who are skipping around with their level five Mudkip. Like Driftbloom are out there killing kids. Is there an organization that catches those Pokemon and moves them to a different location? I feel like this video started as a way for me to make a Thanksgiving dinner out of Pokemon and is now just me throwing out great ideas for the Pokemon company to run with. Also, do you ever think about if like a Machoke wants to be a nurse, can they? Are they allowed to? I hope they do. I want them to live their dreams. I feel, I feel so stupid right now. When my parents were in their 30s, they were budgeting for their third child. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, if a sentient cow squirts out a sentient milk, dost thou milk not feel? You know, I think this video has gone adequately off the rails. I think that's enough for us today. But comment below what you would make for your Thanksgiving feast using only Pokemon. There's literally so many options. I'm thinking Miltank burgers. I'm thinking Tauros seared steak. I'm thinking Kentucky Fried Pidgey. They now have fish on rice. That's its own Pokemon. You can just serve that. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful holiday, and I will see you next time.